Hi, my name is Kyla Rose Zanera from BS ECE 3C and this is performance task number 10 of ECE 23 and this presentation is about Sonnet or the SDH. Sonnet, known as Synchronous Optical Network, is discovered in North America by Belcor Labs and was standardized by ANSI or the American National Standard Institute. While the SDH is a synchronous digital hierarchy and was first used in Europe and Japan and then used in the rest of the world as well. So what is Sonnet? Sonnet is the optical network which is a standard for optical telecommunication transport when sending data across the optical fiber. It is also used to link fiber optic transmission from several suppliers across numer numerous owner networks. It, using, it is using the principle of time division multiplexing and with the help of TDM, it can, it can send signals from the transmitter to the receiver. Next is, how can we design the sonnet? So since we are using the TDM multiplexing the TDM or the time division multiplexing it means that we are using a clock and in in sonnet we are using the single clock for the timing synchronization and for the operation of the equipment as well with the help of the single clock the timing is synchronized next is the multiplex transport it is a carrier for a broadband ATM and BIDSM. So all of this is using a is using a TDM system. So we have here our components: the MAX, DMAX, the clock, ADRAP multiplexers, and the synchronous transport signal multiplexer or the SDS. The SDS is a multiplexer that is connected to the clock so SDS is having both multiplexer and the de demultiplexer. Max is used for the input and Dmax is used for the output. Also for the regenerators, regenerators is used to remove the noise to amplify the signal. It is bidirectional and used at the data link layer. We have here next is a structure of the sonnet. So here is the terminals and this can be a transmitter or a receiver and since it is bidirectional, it can be either the, trans the transmitter or a receiver. Now we are having the SDS max DMAX and if we use a transmitter, we will be using the MAX and if we use the receiver, we will be using the DMAX. Next is its optical fiber, the, connect, the connected here, and the connection between the two equipments, the ma from the max D ma from the SDS to the regenerator is called a section, and on the longer line after regen the regen regenerator is the add drop, drop multiplexer, and the connection here from the SDS to the add drop multiplexer is called a line it is used to add or to remove some of the wavelengths next is for the overall connection here from the terminals going to the terminals is called a path, a path. so this is the entire structure of the frame in which we are using to send the information So we have the entire structure of the frame which we are using to send the information. So first column is the transfer, transport overhead and on the first three rows it is called the section overhead and the last six rows is called the line overhead. Then the rest is called a pay overhead or a synchronous payload or envelope or Transport overhead is also called an admin overhead and it is divided into section overload and a line overload. 
So in that section overload, we will be having 3 by 3 and it will be equal to 9 bytes since it has 3 rows and 3 columns. It is used for framing, for error monitoring, and for the management. Next is the line overhead. We multiply 6 and 3 since we have 6 rows with 3 columns gaining 18 bytes. So in every byte, in one byte, we, it contains 8 bits. So in order to know how many bits, we can multiply both of them by 8. So for the entire frame period, we have 125 microseconds. So in, ge in getting the data rate, we simply multiply the 8 bits times the 9 rows times the columns divided by, divided by to 125 microseconds, which is the 50.122 Mbps. So we have uh, different uh, SDH networks, the SDH1, SDH3, and SDH6. And if we have SDHN, we will multiply it by 50.122 Mbps. So for example, we I have um, SD, SDH3, and which means 3 times 50.122 to 150.366 Mbps. Next. This is the sonic ring that is used for the actual communication purpose. So in this structure, we, ha we are having a various of add or dropping multiplexers. And these are the terminals that can be a either a transmitter or a receiver. So this is the add or drop network. And this is how we have uh, bi bidirectional connections since the signal can be sent from the transmitter to the receiver and vice versa. So this is called the actual ring or connections and the actual connections enables the transmitter to send signal to another receiver. So the purpose of this sonnet ring is in order for so that there is no any disturbances or delays if uh, the transmitter has to connect to the receiver as well as the receiver so that they can use both paths simultaneously. It does not have to wait for the transmitter to occur when he can send the signal to the receiver. So it can send signal in two directions simultaneously. Next is the applications. So Sonnet can be applied in the IBSN, BIBSN for the ATM cells, T1 and T3 for the carrier lines, cable TV network, and also bandwidth on demand. Thank you.